Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to add a product carousel to our site here. We've added product carousels before but this one's from the great new plugin uh, Wow Carousel, Divi Wow Carousel. And it's nice because it's got a, a, um, a quick view button, an add to cart button and of course it shows all your products in this nice carousel here. Really easy to make, so let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable my Visual Builder. Once the builder's loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll simply delete this module right here. Now I've got, well I better delete the row so I can show you how to build a full width row. Okay, so I've got a section of blue tab here. Let's add a new row. I'm going to make it one column. And it's prompting us to add a module. Before I actually do that, I'm going to make the row full width. To do that, just go into the row, green tab for a row, blue for a section, and a dark one for a module. So we're going to go into the row settings. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to sizing, down to width, Drag that up to 100%. And you can copy, control C, and paste that in the max width below, or you can type it in, whichever works for you. We've now got a full width row. As you can see, the green tabs underneath the section tab indicating that it's full width there. All right, well, let's add our module. So I'm going to click the little button here. Divi comes with all the light gray modules here, and there's plenty to get any sort of website done. When you add the WoW carousel, you get these extra ones down here, and it's got some fantastic carousel options. And the link to this plugin is below the video. Today, we're going to use the product carousel, WoW product carousel right here. Just left click on it. And as you can see, it's thrown in some products already. So firstly, let's sort out our carousel settings before we actually do the content. Animation speed, I'm going to slow mine down a little bit. I'm under the general tab in the carousel settings right here. I do want it to autoplay. Autoplay speed's fine. I've slowed it down a bit too much there. I like mine to be about between one and two seconds is good for me usually. Navigation, there's one there and one on the end. I don't really want that, but I do want pagination, which is the little dots that appear underneath. In fact, I don't think I'll have any today. So let's go into there and I'll say none. There we go. If you want one or the other, just select what it is you want. Fixed width slide, well, mine are all the same, so I don't need to enable that. You may need to if your images are skinnier and fatter than one another. I want to show more than three because they're a little large. I'm going to put that to five, I think. Now, I do want it to infinitely loop. That's great. OK, now let's go to our content. We can choose what you want. You can choose various categories, say laptops and desktops. And it'll put them in. There we go. And as you can see, because I've got five products displaying now, it's a little easier to see. Great, so there's our content. Now the elements that I actually want to show, that's the featured image. Yes, I do want to show that. If you notice, when I'm hovering over it, it's got the Add to Cart button and a Quick View button there. That's really great, but we've got three different options of displaying these. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I don't want to show category, so I'm going to switch that to off. I don't even want to show the price because I'll have that when it pops up to the quick view or they go to the product. And I don't want to show the rating. I do want to show the cart button and I do want to show the quick view. Now you've got two different types, an Ajax load and a normal. For me, the normal works fine. If you have a problem, you might try the Ajax load. but if you're not having a problem, I'd leave it on that. Use equal height. Well, again, my images are all the same height, so I don't really need to do that. But if you've got different sized images and things, you might want to leave the equal height on. 
Okay, quick view elements. Now the quick view is when you click on the little eyeball icon there and it pops out into another window where you can see the product details. So let's have a look what we've got here. Show gallery, yep. Yeah. Show add to cart button, yes I want that. Show categories, mm, I'll leave that on. We can show a rating if you want to. Definitely show the price and show the short description. Great. So let's go to our carousel settings again here. And let's go to advanced this time. Auto height, well, we've done that. Items to scroll one at a time, which is fine for me. You can change that if you want to. They've got a fantastic vertical mode, center mode. We'll uh, explore those in a different video. You can change your default cursor if you want to. Just change it to a grab. And that's just going to indicate that it's an active thing that you can actually click on. Okay, well let's move on to our design. I'm going to click onto the common tab here. And you can change the spacing at the top and the bottom. For me that's fine at the moment. Now here's the three different layouts we've got. If I roll over at the moment, you've got this one with the nice little add to cart and quick view buttons up there. If we change that to setting number two. You'll see they're down the bottom now underneath the actual display there. And then number three. For this one, they're actually on the bottom of the image. Now I'm going to use this one today because I think that's great and I'm going to style it to match the colors of my site here. Okay, you've got item padding and item background. Let's give my items a blue background. There we go. Now the reason you can see it through this one and not through this one is this is a transparent PNG so it's got no background whereas this has got a white background there. That's fine. I don't want any borders or box shadow there. For the image you've got various options to make rounded corners. You can change the height of the image if it's too tall for you. But everything's pretty good for me at the moment. I'm not actually using an overlay so I can let go of this one. The label, that's like an on sale if you've got your products on sale. It'll, up, it'll show you a label up here. I don't see any that are on sale there at the moment. I may have disabled the label. Let's go back to our content and elements. Show label. Yeah, let's switch that one back to on. And we want to display it on sale items. That's great. Now let's go back to our design and back to label. Again, you can change the position, put it where you want. I'm going to have mine on top right, I think. And I'm going to make it purple in color. It's great. Hopefully I've got one there that's on sale. We'll see. <laughs> Let's go on down. Now the text, it's plural, so you can do the heading and the content, but I haven't got any content. So let's go in there. Text alignment, I want that in the middle there. We're on the common tab. It's great. I don't want to add any additional padding because it looks fine where it is. Here's our title text. If you've got broken line titles, you can have it all on a single line. Mine are fine at the moment though. Spacing is absolutely fine. The only thing I'm going to do is change the color to white so we can see it a bit better. There we go. Great. Moving on down, the buttons. Now, the only buttons we've really got on here are our quick view and our cart. And I want to change those to match the colors of my site. So let's go to the quick view first. Icon color I'm going to make white and the background I'm going to make purple. There we go. How's that? And I'm going to copy this sort of hot pink color up here and use that for the other button. I've got a little Chrome extension for extension here for picking a color. I'll copy that. 
and let's go to our add to cart button again I'm going to make the icon color white and let's get rid of the color here and add our own and I'll paste in that pink hex code so now there we go that's great so we're pretty much done with our slider here how easy was that now we haven't really got a footer so I'm not even going to go in there quick view you can change the background or what have you and when I say this I'll show you exactly what the quick view is but I think for all intents and purposes we've got our slider complete now one little thing I do want to do is just add a little bit of padding each side to our section here so let's go into the blue tab for the section I'm going to go to design and spacing and I'm going to give it say 20 pixels either side 20 left and 20 right you don't have to put in pixels it'll do it for you if you want to use percentages or VW vertical width you can just type it in there select what you want and type it in there so I think we're good to go let's save our changes and see what we've got save the page changes and exit the visual builder and let's roll down to our carousel and there we have it that's a nice looking little carousel there it's rolling along nicely when we hover over it it's going to pause we've got our little quick view and our add to cart buttons uh, let's I'll show you what the quick view is when you click on it it brings up a sort of quick view image of this on the same page it's got your price and an add to cart button which is absolutely awesome and of course you can add it straight to your cart by just adding hitting the little add to cart button and it tells you it's been successfully added to your cart and if you want to view your cart just click on the button and there's our cart and I've got a little coupon wheel in on my cart I forgot about that so there you have it let's go back to our home page and that's how you can add a great little product slider to your Divi theme using the fantastic wow carousel module so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day